You would never forget that, huh? Nope. I remember, like, it was yesterday. We just bust open a bag of chips. Ooh. <laughs> we won the championship. Football Kane show. We got Vasso Bain here. Um, Vasso track coach at Miami Northwestern, but also this man played on the the team. I think the national championship team. Yeah, I mean, the team that got robbed. The team that got robbed. The team that got ski bags, gun to the throat, robbed <laughs> at Ohio State. You know what I'm saying? Um, you would never forget that, huh? Nope. I remember it like it was yesterday. We just bust open a bag of chips. Ooh, we won the championship. And the people come back and tell, they had the newspaper and everything, uh -huh. back to back. Papers out, everything. They had to come grab us off the field. People don't threw their helmet away. You don't got no, uh, people don't got their earpieces in their helmet. They got to grab somebody else helmet to go play the last series. Like, it was crazy. We won. In that moment, right, as a kid, what were you thinking? Were you thinking we just got cheated? Or were you thinking, Man, I thought the game was over. We just got wrong. You, you, you said that you got <laughs> yeah, wrong. We the game was over. We see you, you. Everybody that watched that play over and over. What did Glenn do wrong? Nothing. Even that the whistle blow. The game was over. They you know. The refs, I mean, some of the refs start actually leaving they were the leaving. field. You no. Know, what was the sentiment of the referees throughout the whole game? Did y'all feel like? I won't say they were calling bad. We, we, at the end of the day, we lost. Right. But and they shouldn't even be close. Right, but and Maurice Claret run. I'm gonna give you one. I'm, I'm gonna tell you some insight on that that nobody gonna know. That, 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 that's why we here. I am Kingsville. That year. <laughs> that's why we here. That year, Jim Trussell came to the University of Miami. Watch me on that. And Pitt got some note, got some tapes on Miami. Nobody don't know what tapes he got. When we played him in that national championship, Doss was literally saying the ball coming right here. He knew our checks. How was he able to come here? Again? What you mean by tapes? Okay, you know how the uh, off-season coaches travel around, try yeah. to see what y'all doing, whatever. I guess he knew he had a national championship team. Yeah. And he knew he was going to meet us. Yeah. He came in there. I don't know who let him in there to go sit down and watch the tapes. Uh -huh. cool. they, let him, cool. they let him get some tapes out of there. He walked away with like three tapes. The probably with the three tapes that he needed to break us down and know what we do, know our tapes. And, 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 and they knew what? Exactly what we was doing. If you go back and watch that tape, Doss was checking. When we were checking, he was checking. He was walking himself right into the hole where we were running the ball. If we were throwing a slant over there, he walked himself right into the slant. So whatever they learned, <clears throat> they knew from the beginning of the year, we playing Miami and they prepared for us. Right. See, some people don't think, uh, <clears throat> they don't think, um, when you look at a college season or a high school season, you look at it like game for game. Mm -hmm. And they don't ever think like that. Like, listen, we know Central coming to state. So you got to be ready So for we them. preparing for Central week one. Right we know now, Northwestern yeah, right coming. Now. Naples probably prepare for y'all year round. They know we know what they're doing. <laughs> and some, some, some people don't think of it that way. But if you know who coming, and that's when, when they broke down, when they broke down the, the divisions, and everybody's like, hey, man, you go to state now. I say, bro, listen, all you're doing is telling the telegraphing who coming. Now, are they good enough to beat them? I don't know, but they, they could well be well prepared when you get there, watch. Because they knew you was coming in September. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but so, so, so y'all go back on the field, y'all run the play. At that point, you felt like y'all was gonna win or lose? We still thought we were gonna win. Mm -hmm. Like with that team, it was no doubt that we were gonna win. Right. And we still should have won. Right, right. But it was, it was double overtime, right? Yo, it was fourth and goal or yeah. something. When, uh, Maurice Claret scored that touchdown. Yeah, yeah. Right. We, we was in the right defense. The man was there. Uh, I think it was Mo, Mo Mr. Top. He might been somebody hit him in the arm. Yeah. yeah, Mo Mr. Top, he got in there. We still should have won that game. Right. That was well, we were that kind of team. Adversity didn't mean anything. All the stuff they to put up in practice. Yeah. Nobody's supposed to beat us. <laughs> Think, think about all the, the guys that came over that team that was first round. You name, imagine that practice every day. Name some of them. Oh, that year, yeah. That was, that was you had Vernon Carey. Vernon Carey, Carey. Carey. you had uh, Antrell Bro, Bro, Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor was young, right? Sean Taylor was a sophomore. Oh, then you had Sean Joseph. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
greatest team ever. Man, that's all his greatest man, roster ever. That's Frank Gore, <laughs> Will McGahee, Andre Johnson, Ross O'Pair. That team was that, loaded. That one play, that one play messed up the whole. That game was a hell of a game. You know what I'm saying? It was a very good game. I didn't expect it to be that close, but Willis McGahee going down. Then who came in? Peyton came in, right? Mm -hmm. like Willis McGahee going down, Peyton. and, yep. and the, the overtime was crazy. Like. The, but because of what happened, it kind of erased everything in that game. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, was, it was like going into that game, everybody just said, well, you're almost going to blow this team out. Mm -hmm. Ohio State not going to be on the field. Um, Ohio State game plan, like you said, they game plan good. <clears throat> they defense on line play a hell of a game. This game that was cool. like the, the one time where you on O-line back then was really – Beat up. Late, you know what I'm saying? Like, late <laughs> on blocks. And you're like, damn, hold on. They hit, they kid Dorsey jersey dirty. Like, this don't happen. This ain't happened in almost three years. Yeah, right, right. right. So, <laughs> it made it, it now, now you, um, um, they begin to go into a panic mode. Like, oh, we, say, we don't, you know I say, we, we know we can turn it on and turn it off. Dang, that's all we happened, didn't happen. You right. can't really turn it on. I mean, we can't turn it off because the team coming. They coming. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, little things that they doing is like, okay, well, Man, like you say, they know what we, they know. Oh, Lord, they know. Doing. They know the screen's gonna go to Willis. They, they know, know exactly. Oh, they what got. Doing. They got um the cornerback covering Andre, but then they got somebody right over the top. Like yeah, Andre, you ain't gonna beat us. They had gamble. They had gamble. Yeah, gamble. 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 Yeah, you know I still saying? think we should have went through the ball of Andre more in that game. Uh huh. Because Willis ain't get it going. To right before he got yeah, hurt. Yeah, right before he got hurt, yeah. So I, I think we should have threw the ball was, on Andre um, more. Or Roscoe, both of them was having that was probably, game. I, I ain't going to say it was his coming out game, but uh, Winslow was having a damn good game. Yeah, they they right. couldn't got we, Winslow at all. Yeah, we could have got, got him the ball more, um, too. I mean, it's a lot of questions. Yeah, it's, 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 like I say, it was if it was, it was one of them games where um, you can even look back to the, um, what is it, the 88 yeah. games. When, um, they just knew they was going to beat. Penn State, you know what I'm saying? But then they get there uh, and it's like. Cried after that game. You no, know, yeah, like. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. I was a kid. I just knew my ain't supposed to win all the time. They tricked us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's one of them moments. You're like, well, damn, I know we finished. And then when the game is over, you're like, hold on, hold on. This this really happened. Like, what? Listen, let me tell y'all. That was the, like the craziest after game speech ever, right? Mm -hmm. We walk in the locker room. You know, everybody's sad. Coke always have a talk, like he had to give him doing some kind of, but we hadn't lost in two years, right? So he came in the locker room and he said, uh, we lost guys, I don't know what to tell you. We lost, so I walked on, dropped the mic, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I understood what he was saying because what, we ain't gonna pay no loss yeah. for losing speed. We knew we was winning that game. There was no speech for that loss. And that was it. Everybody, it wasn't like, as it goes, it was like, we all was in the days. Like, that really set us back. Like, everybody was like, wow. At what point in that game did, did you know, oh man, we in a dog fight. This ain't. When Sean picked off the ball uh -huh. and Mo Reese grabbed yeah, the grabbed ball back out of yeah. his hand. That's what, oh, that yeah. would close that game out. <laughs> Right. Maurice probably gonna never make that play again in his life. Right. But for that moment, he made that play. Sean was gonna score a touchdown. I don't even know where Mo came from. He, he came. He came out of nowhere. You know? I don't know where he came from. Sean right. gonna score a touchdown. Yeah, right. was it was just one of them, like it's just it was one of them days, man. It just yeah, 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 yeah. But the game he play. goes down, like yeah, yeah. they just a lot of stuff did go their way. Yeah, um, we they had a lot of good bounces they went. We had some very very bad bounces. It's just one of them days, and that's why I say in sports, just like right now with the Heat and the Lakers, uh -huh. it ain't over yet. Right. Because you never know in sports when the, when, when the ball start get, getting heavy. Yeah. But they said basketball. Yeah, when it's heavy. <laughs> yeah, nothing is, yeah, nothing is for sure. Nothing is definitely, no, nothing, 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 nothing is for sure. In sports, the right day, right situation. Right. All right, so fast forward to 2020. Tell the fans, because you coach, you know, you know a lot of the kids who's going to schools all over the country. Right. Tell them the difference between back then to now, because a lot of, you know, a lot of Hurricanes fans seem to think that you and we, we just, you and we drastically going to get back to that no. immediately. I tell them it's, it's not, it, didn't, it didn't just happen like that. It, it was, it was I working. think it was, it was more, we, we, 
he shopped in the inner city for the kids that was more hungry than now. I think we going to these private schools and these kids coming out. I'm not saying nothing wrong with no kid coming out of a nice house. I'm not right. saying that. Right. But to get the back where we need to get to, we need to get kids that are more hungry, I think. My opinion. Because this team right now look like they fighting a little bit. Because for years, we just ain't have no fight. Right. It's like the kids don't have no kind of fight when it starts going bad. It's just, all right, we supposed to lose. Back then, we had a, a thought like, we ain't losing. We ain't supposed to lose. We ain't know we supposed to lose. And I think that's a part of why we ain't lose a lot of games, because we didn't know we supposed to lose. And that was, that's the basis of South Florida kids. We don't know no better. That's why I say if I'm a coach, if I was able to leave and go coach somewhere outside of the state, I'm coming to South Florida. Because I know these kids down here don't know they're supposed to lose. Right. And I think that's what separates them from everybody around the country. Kids start realizing they ain't better than other kids. Our kids don't know they not better. They just don't know. <laughs> I promise. I, and I learned that when I ended up leaving Miami and transferring to Hampton. And that was my first taste of somebody actually just quit. Mm -hmm. We at Hampton, right? The big schools is like the. Uh, Jane Madison and stuff like that, right? In the React or whatever. I mean, the one double eight. So when we played uh, Richmond, it was a white school. We're gonna call it a white school. Mm -hmm. It's not a black college, we just call it a white school, right? So when we getting ready to play them, I see everybody look scared. I'm like, why everybody looking like they scared? These guys slower than up, we, we faster than them, we should be able to beat them. Get to the game, we playing, I'm fussing. Fussing, about to cry. What y'all? Why y'all acting like y'all scared of them? One of my coaches pulled me to the side and say, "Bang, relax." I said, "What you mean, relax?" He said, "They don't quit on you." I said, "What you mean they don't quit?" He said, "Every year they see the white schools, they quit." And that was the first time I figured it out. They not from Florida. Right. We be getting whooped and still be trying to play hard. Those guys just quit because they felt like they couldn't win. And I, I never knew that. My way of, my thought process of growing up, we always fight, 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 fight. Right. We could be, we down a hundred. We still trying to, trying to do something to win. It sound like Coach had done quit too though. No, Coach, Coach say, <laughs> Coach say he done got enough headaches right. from doing this. He said every year we get to the playoff, they do this. As soon as we get to the uh, bigger school, uh, the white school, they just say, oh, okay, y'all. But were they better than y'all? No. No, as a mental thing. We had five dudes that went, got drafted, and went to the combine that year. So it was a mental thing. It was mental. It was mental. Mm -hmm. Wow. We had five dudes went to the combine. They had one dude went to the combine. So you tell me, was they just better than us, or was it us just brain fog? It was a mindset. Mm -hmm. See, so you went to Miami. Y'all, were they winning when you got there? Yeah. So, and that's what I try to tell people, um, like, it's a winning culture. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I got a homeboy, Cyrus Williams. I don't know, he came with Tyrone Moss from Italy. Um, yeah, I know Cyrus. He seems to think that... Cyrus so got there with my sophomore year. Yeah. He, he seems to think that it's not never really coaching. It's, 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 it's the team. It's the kids. I say, dog, because you went to UN when there was a winning culture there. So it was in place. So you had the older dudes telling the younger dudes right. how we win. That's how you if it's that. broken, it has to be on the coaches or maybe a few special leaders, like maybe De'Aaron King, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody who's special come through and lead them <laughs> to something. But when the culture is there to a kid, it looks like, nah, man, it wasn't really coaching them. It was, it, it was us, <laughs> See? but it was already in place. You know what I'm saying? Remember now they saying, um, like the game was easy. It, the, the practice was practice hard. Was hard. The practice was hard. The practice <laughs> was hard. You about to die in practice. The game right. was like, this scrub. Like, who was this? I just was playing against first rounders. Right. We, we didn't think of it in that way, but it was like, I, I know he ain't better than X. Right. Who you is, man? I don't even know your name. Right. So it was like, it was, it was easy. When you got games, then you like, man, it, like again, back to we don't know we're supposed to lose. Right. Now, from Ohio, those guys probably were stars. To us, they had Ohio State. Who the hell they is? 
right? It's a it's mental thing. <laughs> yeah, right. But now, like I say, the detach is these kids now, they don't think that way. They don't believe that they supposed to win. Like, we're going to play Clemson. This is, this is the measuring stick everybody going to hold us on. And I'm and I'm at fault of thinking, believing, feeling that way too. I'm like, if we could just hang in there with Clemson, I think we got a pretty good game. Right. Before I was like, we gonna whoop Clemson. Yeah. And and if them kids don't feel like that, they can't beat Clemson. If they don't, if they not going in there saying we supposed to beat these people, they, they not. They 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 not gonna beat them. What do you say to people that says? Um, Man, Coca just took over the team, and he didn't even have to coach. He was just there. You was there. You was in it. What did Coca do? I'm going to say this about it. Even if you got a great team, right, anybody can drive that bus, it seems. Uh-huh. You can because you still got to hold it together. You still got to keep things in place and people doing the right thing because he could have easily, like you said, he could have just sat there and watched them just demise. We could have right. just went down. He could have let the team run itself. Which he didn't really, it, it wasn't much to do. Right, All right, you right. had to do was keep it going. Keep it going, right, right. But he was there when it was getting built. So was he really not a father at all? Really? I, 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 yeah, I never thought of that. He never was already there. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why they, they, it, it was more so the team appointed him. The king, the king team wanted him to be the head coach. Wow. Because they knew him, they trust him. Okay. And that group, yeah. that group really didn't need, it didn't matter. Only thing that you could have done with that group is mess it up. Yeah, I right. remember one of the players was like, um, we didn't want nobody to come in and mess it up. Because he already had your, your view's gonna be different than what we already got. Right. So they kind of, they wanted him. They wanted him. Right. Only thing he could have did was mess it up. Right, right, right. So it's giving the curse now where you're trying to get a new guy in and he got a different view than what we already doing. That changed. You know, uh, Erickson and Jimmy, them the transition. Yeah, 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 yeah. My view is coming in now. We're going to do it this way instead of that way. Right. And it changes everything. Yeah, because now I want different kids, personality wise and everything. Wow. <laughs> wow. And, and, and that's what I know. Like, even with Coaster, people always say, man, who can't win with LeBron? Now what they saying now? I'm like, listen, oh, man. Well, all the people now. who say sports are couldn't coach. He can coach now. Because what I'm telling y'all is, is that just because you got LeBron, Wade, and blah blah blah, you gotta coach. You gotta coach them. But that that's the gift and the curse too, right? You get in the group with LeBron, though. Uh huh. How much can you tell them as a young coach? <laughs> yeah, that was a tough place for him to be in. Because it's kind of like you gotta listen to these these, these uh -huh. athletes too. He couldn't win in there talking about. Nah, y'all gonna do it like he had to. Take, they learned and he learned. Right, 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 right. I think with Spolcher, that was a, right. it was a, it was a good connection. Right. We was learning just like he, they, the kids were learning, or the right. athletes were learning. All right, man, we here with Vaso Bain, man. That was, that was, that was interesting, though. I, I know y'all gonna like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> come right back, man, because we ain't letting them go. We got many more questions to ask.